single penny you have is about, you put at risk because of greed. your principles you've lost your country yeah no one wants to talk to us it's kind of a bummer but see we i mean part of it's my appearance obviously but uh you know you shouldn't judge a man by what he's wearing right i'm not asking for it if you look they're all like have really clever signs that you know make jokes and stuff and they like to compare the signs and then see who was the most creatively expressive with theirs so um i guess they were raised by generations that were fighting against actually you know humanitarian conflicts that were taking place in this country and so they feel somewhat Biologically really? obligated. I thought they were just here because Trump said grab them by the pussy. Yeah. And therefore, they're walking around in vagina suits. Yeah. I kind of wanted to get one of those hats. I thought I would blend in a little better, but I, then my dad <laughs> would probably get upset with me. Yeah, I want to know what when America was great that you want to go oh, back to that. Great. Well, make America great again is a slogan, and so that's open for someone to interpret. When I interpret make America great again, I don't interpret that as making it great again as a set time period. I interpret that as certain values that have been lost returning. Can you explain what pussy power means? Well then why didn't you write women power? You're reducing the value of women to their sexual reproductive organs by saying pussy power. Why don't you just say women's power? Why don't you say women's rights? Why don't you say, why don't you make America great? It is great. Let's keep America great. Well, now, well that's another slogan that he has. Yeah, that is the 2020 slogan. Keep America great. That you want to go back to. How is it? it was again. Well I mean, I think it's still great when I say like make America great again. Again means it's again not. Means it's not. Really? It's again not. means it's not. It, like I said, it depends on the values that you're assuming whether or not they become great. Your interpretation of the slogan may be different than my interpretation of the slogan. I reiterate, my interpretation. Who's a rapist? Bill Clinton. Okay, blow job in the White House. No, settling a civil court with Paula Jones for $800,000 in 1996. That was the rape case. Oh wait, I gotta buy one of those hats. Can I get one of the pink hats? Ten dollars. Ten. You? It's a pussy hat. Thank you, sir. The duality of man. Yeah, boo Trump! You're the worst. I'm on their side now. Donald Trump is a what? Is a what? Why is he treasonous? Oh, gee, uh, maybe the treason. Maybe it's the treason. Which treason? A maggot? Yeah, the, the treason with Putin. Every single Trump supporter, all the MAGA hats are now the new KKK cloak. So keep that in mind. When you see someone wearing a MAGA hat and they say, go Trump, what they really mean is Heil Hitler. <laughs> the only word we use when talking to the Trump supporters is the word no. That's the only word they don't understand and the word they most need to learn. The word is no, Trump supporters, and God damn you all, Trump supporters. May you burn in hell, Trump supporters. And God damn you. Every single penny you have is about you put at risk because of greed. If all you are is greed, if you've lost your principles, you've lost your country, and God damn you all. You'll be penniless immigrants trying to talk your way into Russia because you're that stupidly greedy. You reap what you sow! You reap what you sow! Those 666 marks, they don't wipe off. It's about accountability. When you try to obstruct justice, when you try to deconstruct our country, it's gonna be costly. Every penny of yours, every penny you own, every patent, every copyright, your very <laughs> citizenship in this country, you put a risk. Great job! 270 million witnesses, we! 270 million pissed off Americans are gonna come to you for every penny you have before all is said and done. I'm running for president. Homeless. 2020. <laughs> you got my vote. Thank you. It was very impassioned. I'm Jewish. Am I still a Nazi? Yeah, if you if you're if you're part of lying predators, Trumpodin, wanna be Hitler, Trump? Yeah. We spoke with you earlier. Yeah, everyone's friends here. It's great. We're here with my fellow Nazis uh, from which school? 
We go to University of Nebraska Lincoln. Go Big Red. Yes. Woo! And uh, yeah, I approached them. I was like, "What's up, racist?" And they're like, "What?" And because I was shielding my patriotism with the pussy hat that I got for ten dollars. And uh, the guy was hesitant. It's funny because you know they're all so anti-capitalist. But then I walked up. I was like, "One pussy hat, please." And he was like, "All right, what?" <laughs> what we're anti-capitalist? Really? That's bullshit. The left. Oh. Yeah, they're communist. God bless you. No, actually, God bless you. language. Oh my. Actually, I'm a socialist. Hey, let's be nice. Socialism is anti-capitalism. Socialism, by definition, is the abolition of capitalism. You know, keep doing what you're doing to the effect that I respect that they would all come out here in this weather and protest for what they believe in. However, I do think that the people that are out here are very polarized and, like, I've no one's really ha too happy to see me just based off of the way I look. And that guy over there who's yelling and announcing his, um, presidential run in 2020 he started yelling because he saw my hat and called me a Nazi and said that I was supporting the KKK despite you know one of my ex-girlfriends being black I'm somehow like a racist Nazi and everything so it's like okay I mean I guess if your definition of racism has like devolved into like someone who's wearing a red hat that like is very not anti any race is like a racist like okay I feel like we need some objectivity to that definition though at some point um, there's a lot of social science studies that have been done that show like people that are told that there's a presence of something but not specifically what that presence is will believe it's there when it even is not so I feel like that's part of what's going on as far as oh we're told racism exists in America yeah of course it does and then you see someone like me and then you're like oh that's him that's the racist and it's like I mean I guess like if it makes you feel better but you don't know anything about me I mean you know that I support Trump and then you associate that with oh he supports Trump therefore he is a racist where I don't think that's a good logical leap to make in my opinion maybe I'm biased I'm a Republican and like you know I support my president that I voted for because that's my right is to vote and I did that and you know he's in office and but we're at a march and it's a women's march and I'm a woman these two are a woman he can support women as well. You can identify as a woman. It's 2019. <laughs> wants to. But we're here to march. We aren't here to march, but we're here to say, hey, we are women. We respect ourselves and, you know, but we also and we all have people. opinions and we shouldn't exactly we shouldn't be treated their, their we opinions. shouldn't be kicked out of anything for our views i know that 93 percent of women in this country believe that men and women should be equal it's like of course but only 18 percent self-identify as feminists so obviously women don't believe that that means the same thing anymore the question is why i mean what purpose is feminism serving anymore what rights do men have that you do not that we are still fighting for i guess would be my question as far as feminism by definition being you know equality between men and women of course i support it but in practice i guess as as a means to what ends is feminism reaching? Do you support the ERA being the ER amendment? I don't know enough about the, what's the ERA. The Equal Rights Amendment. What does that do? It's that women are men and women and men are equal under the law, but it would become an amendment. It's been in question for years and years. It was actually one of the most accepted laws at first, but then uh, one woman who was not a feminist some went against it. Between us. Um, what ways are women not equal under the law than men are? Just interfering each other now. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> so women are paid less. Women are not accepted as much. Um, I mean, I can go on a whole list. Why? Why do you think that they are equal? Because they are. I guess. I mean, you say that women are paid less. Did you not know that we have the Equal Rights or sorry, the Equal Pay Act of 1963 that ensures that men and women will be paid equally? JFK signed that into law as a part of his New Frontier legislation. That doesn't mean it's brought forward, though. You don't have to use it. Okay, well, so that's always, you know, they it's illegal to not pay women the same as men. And they say, well, I know someone that does that. It's like, okay, well, then you should file that with your HR department if you truly believe that you're having disparities, or even the Bureau of Labor will take up the case. I support Donald Trump because he's actually making moves in his position. Attaway. He has taken actions. He's building the wall. He's bettering the human population by taking people out of the United States that shouldn't be here because they're here illegally. How old are you? I am 14 and I am proud to be a Republican.